and welcome to Starry Time at the St. Charles Public Library. My name's Miss Amelia, and tonight our theme for Story Time is all about pirates. Yar! It's kind of one of my favorite things. <laughs> Can I show you guys something really cool? When you say pirate, when you make the pirate sign in sign language, you'll cover up one eye like a, I closed the other eye, that's funny. You'll cover up one eye like a pirate. And then you'll do this, like you have a beard, yar. Can you do that? Hmm. Close one eye, and then the beard. Close the eye, and the beard. That's pretty piratey, right? And then you say, yar! <laughs> For our first story tonight, we're going to read a story called Grumpy Pirate by Corinne Demas and Artemis Rorig, illustrated by Ashlyn Anstey. The Grumpy Pirate. <laughs> Pirates aren't grumpy. Pirates never pout. Pirates smile and shout, aye aye, whenever they're about. Everybody yell it now. Aye aye. They seem pretty happy there on the boat. But there's one grumpy pirate. <laughs> they call him Grumpy Gus. He grunts and gripes and grouses and always makes a fuss. Think you can figure out which one's Grumpy Gus? Uh, yeah, that guy. He wakes up in a hammock and he starts his day off grumpy. My breeches are too itchy. My pillow is too lumpy. He will not eat his hardtack. He will not drink his grog. Hardtack, that's the food that they eat. Grog is the, what, they're, what they're drinking. But he glares out through the porthole and he grumbles at the fog. Yeah, everything makes him grumpy. The other pirates do their best to help Gus try to smile. But he just scowls and snivels. Smiling's not my style. Well, those are some good pirate friends. He skips his shift to swab the deck. He hates to coil the ropes. Instead of helping trim the sails, he mutters and he mopes. Mm. He should probably be taking his turns. When it's his turn to take the helm, Gus whines, oh, this job's too tough. The other pirates finally say, we all have heard enough. Yeah, they don't look very happy, do they? Gus moans, ah, oh, the ship's too tippy. Our course is arr, too slow. The deck is way too slippery. I think I'll go below. Wow, just kind of left everybody. The pirates ask their queen for help. Grumpy Gus is such a crank. Please save us from his grumpiness or we'll have him walk the plank. They've tried. They've tried to really make him feel happy. The pirate queen, who is quite wise, brings Gus a special friend. I'm giving you a parrot to help your grumbling end. Uh-oh. Gl <laughs> Gus glowers at the parrot. He asks, what good are you? What good are you? The parrot asks. And the parrot glowers, too. Oh, my goodness. The parrot follows Gus around and echoes him all day. He grumbles and he grouches in a very Gus-like way. Because parrots imitate you. Arg! Arg! Humph! Humph! I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm cold and I am hot. I'm feeling gr very grumpy. So I will frown a lot. Oh my gosh, that was both of them at the same time. 
Gus wails. This parrot's crabby. He's a sourpuss, a brat. His voice is way too whiny. Do I really sound like that? Sorry, Gus, the, wi the wise queen says. The parrot sounds like you, but if you change your attitude, the parrot will change too. So he's got a chance. I don't know if I can do it, Grumpy Gus begins to groan, but then he hears himself and says, I'll try to change my tone. Do you think you can do it? Let's find out. Gus tries his best at smiling. The parrot tries a beaky grin. This makes Gus start to giggle and the pirates laugh with him. Mates, you've called me grumpy and I see, says Gus. Twas true. Now just call me grinning Gus. Aye, aye, shout all the crew. Here, what are they all going to say? Everybody say, aye, aye. The end. That was pretty silly. Grumpy Gus. Oh. All right. Now I have a quick little finger play that we can do. So you got, hold your hand up like this and let's count off. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'll do it on this hand. One, two, three, four, five. We got five, right? Five pirates on a treasure chest. But one jumped off. Boop. And how many are left? One, two, three, four. Four are left. Four pirates on a treasure chest. One slid off, boop, and three were left. There's three pirates on a treasure chest. One fell down, boop, and two are left. There's two pirates on the treasure chest. One was pushed off, uh-oh, and one is left. There's one pirate on the pirate chest, and he climbed down, so none are left. No pirates on the treasure chest. Yo ho ho, now it's all mine. <laughs> Good little counting thing. And for our last book tonight, I'm going to read a book called Pirate Nap, a book of colors by Dana Smith. Illustrated by Valeria Patrone. Let's see if we can figure out some of these pirate colors. Afternoon on Spyglass Street. Pirates fighting in bare feet. White bandana and one good eye. Pirates plunder. Pirate spy. There's his white bandana. They were saying one good eye. He's wearing the eye, eye patch. Look at these pirates. Raid a hideout. Do a jig. Feast on grub. Guzzle swig. What did they raid? The fridge. <laughs> Guzzling some milk. Yellow treasure buried deep. Lucky pirates, loot to keep. Look at what did they find? Yeah, they found coins in the couch. Have you ever found coins in your couch? It's a good place to look. Time for a nap, rowdy crew. Mighty pirates need sleep too. Captain sneers. Ah, tis a trap. Pirates never ever nap. Hmm. I wonder. <gasps> no surrender coming through. Lots of pirate things to do. Find the ship in the bay and look for treasures on the way. Do you see the picture of the ship? Yay, right over there. Let's see what else they can find. Creep. Being quiet, sword in hand, search the rugged open land. Avast, a mountain up ahead, dig up a treasure, Fluffy. 
Red. Ooh, what is this red thing? Blanket. Spider webs and shadows grow. Follow the map where breezes blow. Mark the smot, spot. <laughs> we must be brave. Find green treasure in a cave. What's the treasure they found? Green boots. Yeah. <gasps> Another clue. Blow me down. A treasure chest. It's wooden and brown. That's another color. Pirate's luck. The treasure's big. Yo ho ho. The pirates dig. Singing sailors. Hidden cove. That thar it be. <gasps> A treasure trove. Sparkling jewels. Orange beads. All the things a pirate needs. He's got his red blanket, the yellow coins, his green boots. There's his white bandana. What else are we going to find? Hear a scream. What could it be? A purple monster from the sea. Who's the purple monster from the sea? Who's that? It's his little sister. <gasps> it grabs the loot. A dirty trick. Catch the monster. Hurry, quick. Oh, now everybody gets to play the game. See the ship home at last. Raise the black flag on the mast. That's the pirate. Skull and crossbones. Tumble in, climb aboard, stash the treasures, and stow the sword. That means put it away. Lift the anchor, pull the hitch. Happy pirates, sleepy and rich. They've got lots of treasure. Even the little sea monster looks tired. Calm blue water, briny deep. Pirates and monster sail to sleep. The end. Oh, and on that note, it's time for us to say good night. You know what that means means we get to sing our good night song. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Give yourself a big hug. Nighty night, sweet dreams. See you next time.